Hello and welcome to my session at CFTA 2021. My name is Brian Haynes. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer at FM Systems. FM Systems is incredibly proud to be a sponsor for many years of the CFTA. Uh, I, uh, like many of you, um, worked in facilities uh, and space and occupancy planning at the University of Arizona for a number of years in the 1990s. And I remember the excitement and the amount of energy uh, with students returning to campus in the fall uh, and the challenges that that also brought to our facility teams and realize that what you're experiencing right now is so much harder than that. And my, my heart's really go out to you. Uh, we hope that you um, are going to have a successful return to campus this fall and uh, also hoping that you have the technology that's going to help you to be able to do that really, uh, really easily and efficiently so that you can provide an amazing experience for your faculty, staff and students. Uh, as they return to campus uh, this fall. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my presentations. I'm going to share my presentation and share my screen. There we go. We'll go into full screen mode. There we go. So we're going to talk about our solution on campus session. This is a short session. It's going to be about 15 minutes. And what I'm going to be focusing on today is how you could go from zero to BIM for operations at the speed of light. And what I mean by that is in this presentation, we'll discuss and show how facility teams can go from no drawings or models to having an interactive building information model created and usable for operations in as little as a few hours. I'm going to demonstrate the process of obtaining highly accurate point cloud data using Leica Geosystem scanners which can accelerate the creation of high fidelity models in a 3D environment that can be easily leveraged in our FM Systems Integrated Workplace Management Solution, which is called FMS Workplace. We will also discuss some use cases for point cloud data post-occupancy that demonstrates the value of point clouds beyond reality capture for use in day-to-day -day facility operations, which is really exciting stuff. This is one of the first times that we're publicly showing this integration. We work very closely with the Leica Geosystems development uh, team uh, to produce this and really excited what we're going to bring to you uh, in this presentation today. So what I wanted to talk about a little bit is uh, the challenges that you're dealing with and some of the questions that are being asked. We went out and did a survey of our higher education clients um, and what they're most interested in learning about to really tackle some of the challenges that they're going to be experiencing some of these falls, uh, this fall. So some of the answers they gave us was how to navigate change management during this very difficult time, returning to campus uh, strategy development, the future of mobile and how it affects the way faculty, staff and students move to and from and even inside of your facilities on campus, uh, understanding occupancy, utilization and cost, and then some of the um, strategies that are being developed for corporate um, office environments like the hybrid work environment are beginning to make their way into campuses as we look at a more flexible use of space um, as we go forward. So all of these questions can be complex and they require information and data, drawings and models at your fingertips so that you can address them highly and, effect and effectively. So this really allows us to be able to have actionable information for your campus facilities. What does actionable information allow you to do? This is having really accurate uh, and current drawings, models, and data for all of your facilities, not just some, but your entire campus, so that you can really understand your daily operations and utilization. This includes things like space and occupancy planning, actual utilization of your facilities, maintenance and operations to include things like asset management, project management, capital planning, all of those things, really having that information at your fingertips so you can make informed decisions. That leads me to my next point, which is really better accuracy and visibility into your campus operations, not, as I was saying, not just on a building, but really on your entire campus portfolio wide, being able to predict uh, needs into the future, whether it be building renewal replacement costs, uh, increasing demand around things like utilization, where do we need to build uh, additional student capabilities, where do we need, need to build additional collaboration uh, facilities or offices for, for faculty and staff, etc. And then that obviously, when we're doing that really well, we've got the information at our fingertips, 
we're able to really provide that ideal campus experience to our students, faculty, and staff that use our uh, campus facilities every single day. And this is really why I believe that you have to have that actionable information um, at your fingertips at all times. That coupled with really that sort of, let's say, year-to-year -year experience that we all have managing our facilities. Nobody just has one building. Many of you have dozens, if not hundreds of buildings millions if not 10 million, tens of millions of square feet to manage, and you're acquiring new facilities at all time, you're operating and maintaining facilities that you've had perhaps on your campus for decades, some of you on the East Coast, maybe hundreds of years, um, and then continual optimization, building renewal and replacement value processes, being able to make sure that our facilities stay up and running to support the mission of your universities and campuses. And then obviously renovation, retrofit, and disposal. Sometimes we um, tear buildings down and build new ones. All of this creating uh, additional level of complexity where actionable information uh, is incredibly important. But often we're gonna do major renovations. We're gonna maybe build a new building or we've acquired a building um, maybe through um, you know, purchase. Um, what happens if you don't have information at your fingertips? You don't have drawings, you don't have models, you don't have information. How can we go from zero to a model really, really quickly? Well, FM Systems has teamed up with Leica Geosystems, and we've done a really beautiful integration of the Leica point cloud capabilities where we can bring those point clouds uh, in, you know, uh, into Revit or into AutoCAD where we can do some cleanup and then connect those live and bi-directionally to our underlying FM Systems Integrated Workplace Management System, which is called FMS Workplace. So I'm gonna step you through just kind of a quick couple of steps here to show you what the workflow looks like. We did this for our own facility. I'm gonna show you a, a video of that here in just a few minutes, where we actually, uh, like a Geosystems personnel, came into our headquarters facility. And over a couple of hours, we did about 18,000 square feet using two different scanners so that we could compare the results. The example you're seeing here is the BLK to go um, handheld scanner. We also did a tripod scanner uh, and then compared the output of those. But what you get is a point cloud. And these are not, you know, the old point clouds that look like something from, um, you know, like a sci-fi movie. These are actually producing um, pretty much photo accurate uh, 3D virtual models and environments for us to be able to bring into our IWMS, which is really exciting. And I'm going to show you that in a few minutes. Now, there is a little bit of post-processing that happens behind the scenes where we take those point clouds and um, Leica Geosystems has some tools that allow us to be able to take those mesh uh, and create uh, a simple a BIM doing some cleanup of the point cloud, some extraneous information that may not be needed. And then we take that IFC model that's produced right into Revit. And because FM Systems has a live bi-directional integration with a plugin, we also do the same thing with AutoCAD. We can take that those that resulting data and very quickly create you know let's say a level 200 model, the space um, space and areas defined, uh, all of the walls, the doors, everything, and then we could quickly publish that into our integrated workplace management solution. And I'm telling you, we did this 18,000 square foot floor with all of the spaces and areas uh, in a couple of hours, from initial scan to to publishing. That doesn't uh, include all of the assets. We could have done some additional um, tagging of assets. The, the point cloud capabilities that like the Geosystems has is really beautiful for being able to tag assets in that point cloud scan and then have them integrated with our asset inventory inside of our IWMS. But what this ultimately provides is the ability to be able to go from that point cloud into the IWMS. Um, this is a floor plan uh, uh, of our um, headquarters facility. We've added some additional detail to this uh, in this example, but we also have the point clouds available uh, with the scan points right there inside of the same interface. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you here in just a few minutes so you can see it in action. So right now I'm inside of um, our integrated workplace management solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to the left-hand side and I'm going to go into our space management module and I'm going to bring up the fifth floor of our Raleigh headquarters and what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and load the floor plan that was generated from that scan data. And we can see down in the floor information below that like a scan equals true, which means there is a point cloud available for this facility and for this floor. And if I want to see all the scan points that were developed with the actual scanners, 
I'm going to go up to drop down a graphic theme called the, like a 3D view, and it's going to show me where all of the point cloud scans were taken, the scan points. That's where the, the uh, actual technician stopped and took the scan. All of these are then stitched together into a point cloud model, which we then clean up and bring into Revit and then publish that into um, our FM as workplace, integrated workplace management solution. Now let's go into a couple of the use cases that I developed just to show how, how cool this is and how easy it is. In this example, I want to be able to, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about holding an event or having a class in a conference room. I've never done it in this building before. I want to be able to see what it looks like. I can actually zoom into that space, click on the, the red dot the, where the scan point is, and it's going to load that view. And this is a 3D virtual view. Looks like a photograph, but it is not. It's billions of little points that makes this uh, makes this up. You can actually actively measure off of this. You can tag these assets and connect those to our space inventory or our asset inventory. So there's one example. The other example I wanted to go through for you, which I think is very cool, is let's say I'm a maintenance technician. I've gotten a work request. Maybe there's a window that's broken or something that's not um, operating. I've never been out to that facility before, or maybe that area. I want to take a close look and find out what I need to take along with me so that I'm not traveling back and forth. Um, so I go in, I bring up the floor plan, I find a point cloud scan or scan point close to where I'm going to be performing that work. And once again, I load that up. In this example, I'm seeing where there's open work orders. In this example, we've got an open service ticket in this office over here. That's actually me. I was in the office when they did this point cloud scan, which is uh, kind of cool. But um, that's the way it works. Uh, it's got the uh, Leica TrueView 3D Viewer actually integrated uh, in our product. We've got the ability to upload those point clouds and display where all the scan points are. This opens up a world of possibilities in terms of use cases that you can use to go from essentially nothing um, to uh, facility operations. I'm telling you, in just a few hours with a little bit of cleanup and then processing this and getting it in, you can start to see the value of being able to get information about your campus facilities into a solution like this uh, very quickly and easily. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if I can stop my... No, we'll just go ahead and go to this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish here. My name is Brian Haynes. I am the Chief Strategy Officer at FM Systems. Really wish we could be together. Um, really love the event and hoping, hoping that next year we'll be able to all be in the same location. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me either via email, uh, bhaines at fmsystems.com. I'd be more than happy um, to send you a copy of this presentation. I'm even going to put the, the, the little demonstration video out on a site where you can download it. It does have a voiceover of me explaining what you're looking at so that it's standalone uh, and you'll be able to see this. Really hope uh, that you've got some interest in this. If you do, please feel free to reach out to me and we can talk about it further. Thank you so much and thank you to the CFTA uh, for welcoming me, welcoming me uh, this year to be able to present to you our uh, solution that we've worked very hard on with Leica Geosystems. We're really excited about it and looking forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you so much.